After a few days of rest, we will continue with our tutorials. In the Spring Data JDBC series, we are going to discuss aggregates and configure a relationship between two aggregates. First, let me briefly explain what we are going to do in this tutorial. We have four entities in our project. Owner Address To do Comment Owner and address form the first aggregate and owner is the root in this case. To do and comment form the second aggregate and to do is the root here. In this tutorial we will establish a one-to-many relationship between the aggregate with root owner and the aggregate with root to do. Before we start the code, we need to look at the database structure. We just had to modify the to-do table, with a field owner referring to the ID of the owner table. Furthermore, the three inserts in the to-do table have been modified. We have two to-dos referring to owner with ID 1, and one to-do referencing owner with ID 2. Back in Eclipse, we can go over the different classes. First there is the owner record which has not been changed. The record address has not changed either. Only the record to do has a small change. We created an aggregate reference of type owner and ID, type integer. An aggregate reference is a reference to the ID of the owner table. Finally, we have the comment record which has not changed. We can now start the project for the first time to see the result. In the browser window we have the owner endpoint. Here you see no changes for now, there is nothing pointing to the to-do table. However, if we look at the list of to-dos we do see a change. You can see that the owner of to-do1 and to-do2 is the owner with id1 and the owner of to-do3 is the owner with id2. If we look at the endpoint owner with id1 we also see no change from the previous video. The endpoint to-do with id1 also has a reference to the owner with id1. This can be sufficient in some cases, but usually we want more information about the owner or the to-dos. This is what we are going to do now. To display more information in the owner and to-do endpoints, we need to create some additional code. First, we create a new record, Owner Details. This record has two fields, Owner, and a list of to-dos. That we use a list here has to do with the one-to-many relationship. An owner can have multiple to-dos, but each to-do has one owner. The record to-do details also has two fields. To-do and owner is the to-do repository interface we have a new method. This returns a list of to-dos by the ID of an owner. In the owner repository there are no changes. Finally, we have the two controllers. The owner controller has a new method. Get owner details. First, we find the owner by ID and then the list of to dos by the ID of the owner. We combine all into a new owner details and return this. About the same thing happens in the to do controller. Here, we first look for a to do by ID and then the associated owner by ID. We combine all into a new to-do details and return this. We can start our project a second time and see the result. In our browser we first go to owner with id1 slash details. Now we see the owner with its address and the two associated to-dos. If we then look at the to-do with id1 slash details, we see the to-do with associated comments. Owner and associated address. This is the end for this video. In the next tutorial we will continue with many-to-many -many relationships between aggregates. Thanks!